As I said in my Power Rangers look back video, I have planned on doing a review on the two SPD Dino Thunder team up episodes known as History and Wormhole, as I have a lot to say about them. I really enjoyed the SPD series and thought it was a fun solid show on the franchise and is my sixth favourite Power Rangers show. Before I get to these episodes, this is going to be similar to my review for How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming, where I go through the episodes scene by scene, as I have a lot to say about them. And while these are really good episodes and I do recommend them, I just have a lot of flaws with them. And so, I begin. Let's start off with episode 32 of Power Rangers SPD, called History. The episode starts with the theme song, which is a catchy song, but I don't really know how in the intro it shows the characters staring into the camera. There's something about it just makes me cringe and feel creeped out, but it's funny, I guess. We see Broodwing and Professor Cerebos doing a deal, and Broodwing says he's paying him top dollar and mentions how he's found three dino gems on the planet Onyx, and it cuts to Reefside High in 2005 where we see the Dino Thunder team reunite in a high school reunion and we get to meet Connor, Ethan and Kira and they give a brief mention of what they've been doing after the graduation and damn Kira is sexy. Ethan! <laughs> hey man, wait up! Well my class schedule at Reefside Tech is brutal but there's no way I'd miss this. I'm trying to start a soccer program for kids, you know? Give them somewhere fun and safe to go after school. It's been tough raising the money though. Hey, do you think Kira's coming? I doubt it. I heard she moved to New York to try and get a recording contract. Kira! <laughs> So when can we expect to hear your first big single? Oh, I'm already all over the radio, singing a cat letter jingle. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> okay, where's Trent and Tommy? And why the hell does Kira still have the Dino Gem wristband? Does she know that they're gonna need them? See, this is my big problem with the episode. There's no real epilogue to what happens after the events of Dino Thunder. The mentions are very brief, like, what is Ethan's Reefside tech like? What is Kira's singing career like? And what's Connor's soccer camp like? I actually want to see that and get an idea of what happens after the Dino Thunder finale, but oh well. Then the three are transported into 2025 and Broodwing tries to make them evil. Welcome to the future. Now you will help me destroy the planet. Since the Dino Rangers are smart, they get their gems and they escape and then in the SPD command center, Cat tracks down a Ranger energy reading in the morphing grid and the SPD Rangers come in and suspect it's the return of the A squad. Then the Crybots chase Connor, Ethan, and Kira, and they reach a dead end. Any thoughts on what these things are? They're not Tyrannodrones, but they're definitely up there in the creepy department. Any ideas on how to get out of this? I'm still trying to figure out how we got in it. They fight them off using their civilian powers as they have bonded with their dino gems again, and they fight the Crybots in a pretty cool on more fight scene, but it would be so much better if Trent and Tommy were here. Then Broodwing pushes them, and Broodwing offers them to join. Who are you? What do you want with us? Your power is legendary throughout the galaxy. Fight alongside me, and we'll bring down this wretched planet. Then the SPD team arrive and defeat more Crybots and save the Dino Rangers. They introduced themselves, but Kira says they can't be the Power Rangers. We're Power Rangers. Space Patrol Delta. Wait a minute, you can't be the Power Rangers. Why not? Because we are. The Dino Rangers learn about how SPD works and the fact that they are in the future, and then Connor becomes a dirty shit. It's good to know there'll still be beautiful girls in the future. Would you give it a rest? We gotta keep focused here. Well, it's normal for a teenager to say a girl is attractive, and I think it's nice for Power Rangers to acknowledge that, as it makes the Dino Thunder team feel like real teenagers, especially Connor. They meet Commander Kruger, and Connor shits himself as he is a talking dog. Hey, hey guys. It's okay. That's our commander. Anubis Kruger. Mm. And our lovely technical expert, Dr. Cat Manx. But he's a dog, sort of. That's his authority figures. You get used to it. The SPD learned that the Dino Rangers have faced off some powerful villains in history. To be honest, I'd like to say the Dino Thunder team have honestly went through the most struggles of all the Power Rangers. I mean, they had to fight a ton of villains. Tommy had his own story, and Trent had to overcome an evil nature. So boom. Cat finds out there's a bad guy attacking the quarry and the Rangers head out to fight. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some dino action. Just because we're not rangers anymore doesn't mean we can't fight. Okay, you guys chill until we get back. I'm sorry, but what? They're, for they're forced to stay in the command center? Why? SPD morph into swap mode and fight the enemy and then he retreats and Grum and Morgana talk about who has the real power and plans to send in troops. 
It's about time the Rangers and Bootwing find out who has the true power. Thousands of Crybots entered for the big fight. The Dino Rangers get worried and want to help, but they're told no. I could be wrong, but they look like they're in a lot of trouble. I've never encountered this many troops at once. You gotta let us in on this. No, I won't put your lives in danger. I thought this was a team-up episode, not a rejection from one team of Power Rangers to another. Kruger morphs and Omega Ranger is sent in his Megazord to fight off the enemy the SPD Rangers were fighting because it's gotten bigger. The other Rangers are fighting the Crybots and Kruger joins in the fight and gets blasted. <laughs> Jesus, he was sitting on a bike one second ago, how is he flying on top? Grom enters along with Morgana, blasts Kruger and the SPD team. Connor gets more angry about them losing and wants to join the team and doesn't care about the timeline consequences, but the others need more rangers. He's Let's right. Do it. If you're gonna go out there, at least go prepared. Give me your dino gems. Omega Ranger is fighting the big enemy and gets half of his Megazord sword broke off using a piece of Trent's theme. You never know who you might run into. How did you do that? You didn't think you were the only one with Dino Gem power. The SPD team just keeps getting beaten and keep losing until. Uh, huh? Think again, bonehead. What? Finally, the best Power Rangers ever get to join, but it's not done right. I mean, why aren't Trent and Tommy in this? The Dino Thunder and SPD team morph up in a pretty cool morph up sequence, and seeing the Dino Thunder team morph again does bring a big smile on my face. They all pose in a pretty cool team-up shot, but it would be perfect if Tommy and Trent were there. The two teams fight off the Crybots, which is a pretty good fight scene, but doesn't have the same epic scope of the fight from Thunderstorm, which had all the Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder Rangers, and that team-up fight is just so much better. Though it is pretty awesome to hear the Dino Thunder theme again when Kira, C, and Zid are shooting down the Crybots. Show up some girl power! Ready? Yeah! You know it! Fire! Yeah! And the mini fight between Kruger and Grom is really good, but I don't know if it's as good as the final battle of SPD, and it is cool to see Connor and Jack shoot down Grom, and the shot of them doing it is really nice, especially with how Super Dino Mode Red Ranger looked doing it, and Red SPD Swap Mode looked nice too. Kruger compliments them and tells the SPD team to help Omega Ranger. Job, Rangers. We'll take it from here. Wow, the suits look really nice. The SPD join in with their Megazords and they combine their Megazords together and take down the enemy. And apparently it's sunset there and it's just grey in the quarry. We see the Dino Rangers just kicking the shit out of the Crybots and use the Xerox Blaster to take out Grom. Kruger, using Rangers from the past may have won this battle, but I have a surprise of my own in store. Come on, let's put it together! Xerox Blaster! Ugh. And it is pretty awesome, but it would have been so much better if Trent and Tommy were there. The fight is over and they celebrate and Gugger compliments the team. Gather round Rangers! Yeah. Great job guys! Awesome. Connor, Jack, Kira, Z, Ethan, Sky, Sid, Bridge, and Sam. That was great teamwork. Yeah! Yes! This shot does look nice though. The Dino Rangers offer to stay and Sid rejects Connor from going on a date. You are great together. Nice try. But I don't date older guys. <laughs> that is pretty funny. And Connor, Kira, and Ethan learn about their future, and Ethan makes an amazing smile. And Ethan, you have to go back. You developed some software that we still use here at SPD. You mean I'm a genius? Sweet. Ethan, you are hilarious. And so is Bridge. 
Kruger tells them that after their lives as Power Rangers, they go on leading significant lives, and he's not wrong there. Then Kat sends them back to 2005. Goodbye, Dino Rangers. Your memory of us will be erased. But we won't forget you. Thank you. I hate how they get their memories erased. I just think it's ridiculous, though I would forgive it if the next episode had a better ending, which we'll get to. The Dino Rangers return and go down to the reunion. Do you think Dr. Oliver's in there? Come on! They mention Tommy, but not Trent, and we don't even see Tommy. We haven't even seen the school since the beginning of the episode. Kind of pointless to just have it at the end where nothing bloody happens. Broodwing then talks to himself and has a big plan for the next episode of SPD. Now on to my thoughts on this episode. History is a good episode. It is good, but it has a lot of problems. My biggest problem, like I said, is the wasted of the Dino Thunder Rangers. They are completely wasted. They did nothing with Connor, Kira and Ethan. They literally just stand there, moping and doping about not joining the fight. And it's dumb. What's the point of doing a team up when they don't even get to join the big battle until the very end? That's just pointless. I mean, why would you want to have a team up where they just where the other team does nothing? And I'm fine with a one part episode, but it just makes the episode just feel rushed. Time for Lightspeed was a one part episode from Time Force, but it was a good team up episode. You had an idea of what the Lightspeed Rangers were up to, and it showed like what they're getting up to in their lives. And that final fight was pretty good. Reinforcements from the future is kind of similar to History and Wormhole where the previous team isn't turned evil like in the Ninja Storm Rangers and Thunderstorm and Dino Thunder, but what I really liked about Reinforcements from the Future is that, well yes, I do actually think it managed to top all of Time Force, but it was an excellent episode. You had an idea of what happened after Time Force, it was a really good wrap up to the Time Force storyline, and it was just a beautiful- it was just awesome. And the fight scene, the final battle was rushed, but it was really good. My biggest problem with history is just, I think it makes the SPD team look like a show-off, as in they're the only ones that do fighting, and then once the Dino Rangers join in, the SPD team just wins and so do the Dino Rangers, and the Dino Rangers don't even fail one bit, which is awesome, but the way the SPD team just get, keeps getting beaten and beaten and the Dino Rangers are just watching and complaining, it just feels repetitive. And while I do like the final fight scene with the Dino Rangers and the SPD team, it just would have been so much better if Trent and Tommy were there, like I said in my like I said earlier. It's not a bad episode, but I mean, I'd like to see what other characters in Reside are up to. What's Anton Mercer like now? What's his relationship like with Principal Randall? Did are they a couple since they said that in the finale of Dino Thunder? What's Tommy like as a teacher in Reefside? Trent said in the finale he was attending an art school. I mean, what is that art school like? Maybe we could have learned that if they got Trent back. I mean, it's a good episode, don't get me wrong. Like, it's certainly fun. And it is nice to see Connor, Ethan, and Kira again. It just could have been so much bigger and so much better and so much more epic. And I would have preferred it if they actually made the Dino Rangers evil. I mean, okay, maybe it would be a little odd to just have the three of them evil. But why not just get, like, the whole Dino Thunder team back? Maybe, okay, I d I'm fine with not having Tommy, as, I mean, he was the mentor and he was in a lot of stories in the Power Rangers franchise, but, I mean, at least get back Trent. I mean, I think it would have, and I did hear the original plan of the episode was that Broodwing was going to create clones of the Dino Rangers, but Disney didn't want to do that as it would confuse uh, young kids, but I think that would have been good. I think it would have set the stakes and set the bar really high, and I mean, you could have gotten... Evil Connor, evil Kira, evil Ethan, and evil Trent. I mean, Trent dealt with being evil, you know, he was under the gem spell. I think it would have been interesting to see that Broodwing put a spell into Dino Gems. And Broodwing is pointless here. He serves no purpose. He literally escapes in the beginning. The only purpose he serves is getting to Dino Rangers in the future. And that's it. And it's just... Ugh, and I just... I don't like how they get their memories erased. I would have been fine with it if Wormhole didn't end like with something like that. But let's move on to episode 38, which is the last episode of uh, SPD, called Wormhole. Wormhole starts off with Emperor Grum talking about an evil plan and enters a wormhole that creates temporary timeline. Taking a plan that will ensure us the conquest 
Back in New Tech, the SPD Rangers unite and Kruger tells them the disappearance of Grum and they celebrate as they believe he is gone. But Kruger knows his enemy and wonders what time Grum is going to. Yes! We're back with the Dino Thunder team! Yes! And is that who I think it is? Trent is finally here? Let's hope Tommy is there, but wait a minute. 2004? They go back to the year I was born? Honestly though, the purpose of a team up is to be excited and to have it after the previous Power Rangers series, but having this big one that has all the Dino Rangers being set before their final battle just makes it feel disappointing and just not exciting. And I mean, the mentality of the episode just feels after the finale of Dino Thunder as there's no Haley, no Cassidy and Devon, and no Elsa or Mesogog. I mean, it would have been better if they went to 2005 and maybe everyone from Dino Thunder is like having a reunion and they discover this unknown ship that comes from the future and maybe they find a way to recover their Dino Gem energy like how in Ninja Storm their powers managed to survive for one last battle, which was an amazing battle, but being set before the finale just feels underwhelming. But we see Trent, Kira, and Ethan relaxing, but Ethan gets pissed as he fails a game. Great. I'm just about to defeat the dreaded Maxidrum when his evil ship comes by and destroys all that I've done. Can you believe it? It's just a game, Ethan. Yeah, you're acting as if it's real. Connor comes over and asks what's up, and then Grom's ship goes by, and the entire school screams, and Grom talks about how he wants to defeat Earth in 2004, then the future will be ruled by him. And Moore creates more monsters, and back in New Tech, Kruger sends Jack, C, and Bridge to go to the wormhole to try stop Grum. And Bridge has a really funny moment. Sir, when you say see your goodbyes, do you mean say goodbye as in see you later? Or do you mean say goodbye as in goodbye? Wait. Don't answer that. The four Dino Rangers are walking, and we get some great communication by Kira and Ethan, but then Trent mentions how they need to find Dr. O. Well, you found me instead. At least it's a familiar face. Yeah, great. Then they come across Celtrax and an army of Tyranodrones, which confirms that this is definitely before the finale of Dino Thunder. But I'd like to disagree, because if Tommy destroying Celtrax in the ship doesn't kill, but a big kick from Tommy and Kira in the finale can kill them, then... I don't see why not he can't just survive a powerful kick by two rangers even though I think they really should have kept him dead after Tommy destroyed him. Celtrex threatens the rangers but him and his army are taken by Grum. Now that's something you don't see every day. They keep walking and Ethan is very happy. When is it's all good. Celtrex is gone and so are they. Yeah, but they aren't. Jack, Z, and Bridge arrive in 2004, and Connor gets suspicious about the arrival, but Jack is really nice saying hello again to the Dino Thunder team. Connor, Kira, Ethan, nice to see you guys again. You must be Trent. Grum meets Zeltrax, and Zeltrax threatens Grum, but Grum starts hurting him and tells Zeltrax he will help take down the Power Rangers, and Zeltrax is happy about the idea. In some really good performances and dialogue. You and your troops will help me strike down the Power Rangers. Or I will stop! No need to go on. Eliminating the Power Rangers, it would be my pleasure. Ethan sums up the story SPD has told them, but Connor asks why they don't remember it. I know. You erase your memory because knowledge of the future would have a detrimental effect on it, causing it not to happen in the random matter that it's supposed to happen without you interacting with it. What did he say? Um, Bridge, even though you are correct, you gotta remember that that was the Dino Team from 2005. You got, and you guys are in 2004, the year before the Dino Team even met you guys. But Jack gets a track of Crybots and tells the Dino Rangers to stay, but they say they want to join the fight. A lot better than history. Excuse me, not anymore. Your grandma's gonna be teamed up with our mortal enemy, Zeltrax. That's right. Your fight is now our fight. Yeah! yeah. We cut to 2025 and Kat tells Kruger that the wormhole is closing and if the rangers don't make it out in time then they won't be coming back. Jack finds an enemy and starts to fight it and Bridge is in a quarry and morphs to fight off a bunch of crybots, which I'm guessing is Sentai footage from the original Japanese show SBD adapted called Becca Ranger. Jack defeats his enemy and then we cut to Kruger telling Sky, Sid and Omega that the wormhole is closing and Sky says that if Grum wins then staying at New Tech will be unnecessary. No. I need you here in case the unthinkable happens. Sir, if you go back and we stay here and Grum wins, then being here will be unnecessary. There won't be a here. He's right, sir. 
Mm. Z is tracking down the Crybots along with the Dino Rangers, and Jack and Bridge come back and they come across Cell Tracks getting beaten by... Take it to the next level. Yeah! Um, that doesn't sound like Tommy Oliver. The two teams get surrounded by Crybots and Tyranodrone, and Tommy comes in. Ah! Better late than never. You guys ready? Black Ranger, I've read all about you. Time to go to work. I heard that Jason David Frank couldn't come in in Wormhole because he wasn't offered about it as Disney didn't want to pay him to fly from America to New Zealand. Greedy fuckers. But Jeffrey Bezzero, who plays Trent, had to voice Tommy in this episode. And I have to give it to him. It's not a bad impression. It's not perfect, but it's not bad, as it does sound like him. The more enemies come in and then the team morphs, and yep, we get to hear the Dino Thunder team morph. Ready! Ready! Check this out. Ready! Ready! Dino Thunder! Power up! Dino Power! And you can notice that in the shot before the Dino Team morph, you can see that they have the morphed up morphers before they have the gem being transformed. Kinda weird, really. Rangers fight off the bad guys and the other SPD rangers come in and join the fight, but the evil army gets bigger and then the rangers gather up in a cool quoting line, I guess. No one gets inside our circle! No one gets inside! 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 You got it, Commander! Attack! The Rangers fight off in a pretty good fight scene that's a lot better than the one in history, as it has all the Rangers, and it's in a field, which is cool. It feels the same as history's, but it's better as you do have Trent and Tommy. You even get Sam the Omega Ranger. Tommy and Kruger fight off cell tracks, and it's pretty awesome to see the two mentors fight him off. This is no longer my battle, but I will see you again, Black Ranger! Okay, Zeltrax surviving is the only thing that stops me from wanting to believe this episode is after the Dino Thunder finale, as Zeltrax isn't even defeated. But, uh, honestly, it just adds to Zeltrax making it even more confusing. Connor and Jack morph into their battleizers and then get armored up and defeat the main bad guys. Grum gets angry as the rangers are winning and then Mora tells him that if he conquers Earth now, the future will be screwed and he will have to reconquer the other planets. You're also going to have to reconquer all the other galaxies and planets you've already defeated. Because since it's 2004, none of that's happened yet. Grum then retreats and the two teams to get their blasters and defeat the enemies and it's awesome to hear the Dino Thunder theme once again. Rick. They defeat the bad guys and they do their pretty awesome roll call, but they should have done this before they defeated the enemies. And I think they should have done this where they did no one gets inside our circle, and the roll call should have been done at that point instead of no one gets inside. But the roll call is awesome. Rangers! Red! Blue! Green! Yellow! Pink! Omega! Shadow! Dorado! Tricera! Terra! Brachio! Drago! Power Rangers! Defenders of Earth! SPD tells the Dino Rangers that they have to leave as the wormhole is closing, and Bridge makes a funny joke. I really wish I could stay. I was just born last week and I could meet myself and become my own best friend. Wait, what if I met myself and I didn't like me? We understand, you guys gotta go. Thanks guys. This has been something I'll always remember. But then SPD does something which I can't stand. Say cheese. School's over. Go home. They erased our memories. Why? I would have been fine with it only being done in history if they didn't do it in Wormhole. I mean, you literally went to their time. 
It could confirm that time traveling exists in their fictional world, and I just don't like how they get away with it. I mean, if they had to erase their memories here, then why didn't Bridge do it in Once a Ranger when he literally tells them stuff about the future? In the future, I'm gonna be the Green Ranger. Oh, and, and then I'm gonna be the Blue Ranger. But you're wearing red? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, long story short, our mentor, who's a, well, who's a dog, got promoted to head of SPD, which used to be run by a bird, but he retired and went down to Miami, and then Sky got promoted, and I got promoted, and that's why I'm the Red Ranger. Or rather, will be. Makes sense to me. The Dino Rangers go home, and Kruger erases the SPD Rangers' memories along with himself, but Tommy, Sam, Cat, and all the other Reefside teenagers remember the invasion. So why is it done? It just seems pointless. I don't know. We then cut to Grom talking about a plan, and the episode ends, and it's the final time we see the Dino Thunder team together. On to my thoughts on Wormhole. Wormhole, in my opinion, is a lot better than history, as you do get the full team, and the final fight is pretty awesome. But my biggest problem with the final fight, it feels too much. I think there's way too many bad guys, and it's just, just it's try I think it's a bit far-fetched, as in I feel like it's trying way too much to be like a, an Avengers stake kind of fight. I'm fine with that, but I mean, it's just, I feel there's way too many enemies. And I just think Wormhole, I don't know. I don't like the idea of it being set before the finale. And I just like to think it's before the Dino Thunder finale. And I mean, I just think the idea of having it before the finale is just, it just feels weak. It just doesn't feel, it just feels underwhelming. And I mean, uh, and I mean, I have to give it to Jeffrey Bizarro. He's not a bad impression for Jason David Frank. The impression is actually pretty decent. And I just don't like how they erased their memories at the end. I mean, what was the point? I mean, like, you entered their timeline. You should have let, let them keep their memories. What about the other teenagers? They're still going to remember the invasion. Cat and Sam are still going to remember the invasion. Dr. Oliver is still going to remember the invasion. But, oh god. I mean, it is good. They are good episodes, but... Wormhole, it just, I don't know, I did hear that Disney wanted to do it as a DVD exclusive episode in America, and it kind of feels like that, it kind of feels like just a bonus feature episode, and it's actually the last episode ever aired of SBD, which is cool, but eh, I just think it, I don't know, I mean, it's, chronologically, it's the 36th episode, no, it's the 35th episode of um, SBD, and that's okay, that's cool, like, that's why it would be in chronological order, sorry about my wrong pronunciation, but, I don't know, I just think, I think they should have been a two-part episode, I think they should have made history a two-part episode, bring Trent and Tommy back, bring, I mean, okay, you don't have to get Tommy, but bring Trent back, bring Trent back, like, please, like, they should have brought Trent back, Make it feel like an epic scope of a team up. Let's see more. Let's have the SPD Rangers learn about the Dino Thunder team. What are they like? You know, what are their powers like? And uh, it just makes the. I don't know. That's how I would have written it. I mean, they're not bad episodes. They are good fun. Are they my favorite SPD episodes simply because the Dino Thunder team is here? Well, I guess so. But I do like the finale of SPD. That was fantastic. And yeah. I mean, I just, uh, I just, it just makes me wish Dino Thunder got a sequel, and it does make me prefer the Dino Thunder team even more. But ignoring that, I did really like SPD. I just don't like it as much as some other Power Rangers out there, like Dino Thunder and Jungle Fury. And that's another thing. I kind of wish Dino Thunder just teamed up with Jungle Fury. I know you couldn't do it due to the gap between them, but I just think it would have been better if Dino Thunder teamed up with Jungle Fury. I feel Casey and Connor have a lot more in common than Jack did with Connor. But is it a bad episode? No, nah, they are pretty good and I do recommend them. Are they as good as Dino Thunder? Probably not. Are they as good as Time for Lightspeed, Reinforcements from the Future, and Thunderstorm? No. But they are fun episodes and they're probably better than Once a Ranger. But I'm gonna give History and Wormhole maybe even a 7. Yeah, I was going to give them an 8, but nah, after going through them, I give them a 7, because they need a better story, they need to have a better plot, they need to be longer, they need to have a better battle, they need to have the excitement, it needs to have tension, and th that this they just didn't have that, they didn't have that kind of tension, and 
Yeah, they're not bad episodes. They are really good. They're just not great. And even and I do give the rest of the SPD series an eight out of ten. History and Wormhole are a seven. They're I'm sorry, it's a strong seven, but I wanted to, I originally gave them an eight, but after thinking about it, it's a seven. I, they are good episodes. They're decent. Like they are pretty good, and the fights are pretty awesome. But it's just underwhelming. It's just very, very. It's disappointing. But hey, Kira was nice to look at in history. Rang she was sexy. But um, nah, it was. They were good enough. They were decent. All right, guys. Those are my thoughts on the Power Rangers SPD and Dino Thunder team up episodes. What do you think of History and Wormhole? Please, I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. How would you have written these episodes? Because me, I would have made them a two-parter episode, and I would have gotten everything back. And that's another thing I forgot to mention. What's Casty and Devin up to after the finale? Does Casty and Devin become a couple? What does Casty get a reporter job? And, yeah, that's just so many questions. What's Haley up to now? Is she still friends with Tommy? It just could have been... Uh, they left so many plot holes. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye everyone, and skadoosh.